Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of Computer Organization and Architecture. Today's topic is Optical Disc. This is a form of auxiliary storage. So let's discuss its construction, properties and the various types of optical disc. Let us begin. To start with auxiliary memory, auxiliary memory is a lowest in cost, highest in space and slowest approach storage in any computer system. Auxiliary memory, it can store program and information for long time, even for future storage also. It is a kind of non-volatile memory means it retains information if the power is switched off also. Auxiliary memory is also known as a secondary storage, secondary memory, auxiliary storage, external memory or external storage. There are various kinds of early forms of the auxiliary storage are there. These are known as punched paper tape, punched cards and magnetic drums. But newer version, latest from since 1980s, the popular forms of auxiliary storage are magnetic disc, magnetic tape and optical disc. Here you can see in the image the different kinds of auxiliary memory, secondary memories have been shown. This video is basically about the optical disc. So what is optical disc? Optical disc, it is a random access storage medium and it is made from glass. Information which is to be written in the optical disc or which is to be read from the optical disc is done using laser beam. So laser beam is used over here. Optical disc has a very high storing capacity. It can store approximately 20 GB of data and even it has a long life also. Life is approximately 20 years. So optical disc is relatively inexpensive and only one surface of the optical disc is used to store the data. So you must remember this point. Since it uses laser beam, for reading writing the data that is why it is also known as laser disc or optical laser disc and this is the latest among the various types of the auxiliary storage so you must remember this also now let us discuss its construction here in this particular diagram you can see the construction of the optical disc so this particular optical disc that is being constructed from a material which is a kind of resin like polycarbonate plastic as you can see over here and the surface of this polycarbonate it contains digital information which is impressed on it and this, inf this digital information is impressed as a sequence of microscopic pits right. So microscopic pit surface, that surface is done here glanced with the help of a highly reflective surface like from the aluminium or it may be from the gold material itself. And to make this disc scratch resistance, this must be scratch resistance otherwise there must be some uh, like noisiness, some information may be lost or something. So disc must be scratch resistance. That is why it is coated with the acrylic and silk screen labeled upon it. Right. Then you can see one by one layer. And finally, a concentrated high intensity laser is then used over here for the creation of master disc. So this is how you can see how many layers are used over here upon this polycarbonate plastic then a laser beam is used. So the information which is to be retrieved from the CD that is uh, how that can be done that is being done by using a low power laser in the optical disc player. So the laser is radiated through the clear polycarbonate while disc is spin with the help of the motor obviously there is a requirement to spin the disc this must rotate so that rotation is done with the help of the mo uh, motor and laser is radiated through this particular layer and as laser falls on the pit as you can see over here as laser falls on the pit 
Pet is what? Which is usually a rough surface. So the magnitude of reflected laser light that changes you can see the reflected light over here the magnitude of reflected light over here so this may change so the and here also you can identify a photosensor photosensor is used to identify the variation between the pits and lands right that variation needs to be identified so that particular thing that particular function is being performed by the photosensor means that translates into the digital signal means that is used to identify the variation in between the pets and lands and that variation is translated into the digital signals and here you can identify you can see a vacant smooth area in between the pets this is pet this is another pet so smooth area in between the pit that is known as land right means from this particular place from this land light reflects back at a higher magnitude so this is the area from where light reflects this is how you can understand the construction of the optical disc now advantages advantages some of the advantages i have already told you that this is a low cost means cost per bit of storage that is also very less and it is an ideal storage medium because large blocks of sequential data can also be used and can also be retrieved um, successfully means as it is can used for the music also and in this particular case there is no mechanical drive for the read write mechanism means optical disc have no mechanical read write that is why this is very reliable storage medium it is very compact in size light and weight it can be easily handled it can be stored and can be portable means can can be carried from one place to the another place there are certain limitations also data access speed that is less in comparison to the magnetic disk and it requires more complicated drive mechanism in comparison to the magnetic disk so drive mechanism is relatively complicated in comparison to magnetic disk now let us talk about the different types of optical disk different types of optical disk first is cd rom cd rom is what compact disk read only memory means it is an optical rom you must remember this is the optical rom so here data can be stored or written into into the cd rom disk before it is being sold and once the data is being stored that data cannot be changed cannot be altered by the users so cd rom it uses long spiral tracks to store data serially its advantage is it can store high volume of data high capacity of data it can be removable from the computer but the major disadvantage is longer access time and it cannot be rewritten so cd roms they are actually used for various applications means for distributing software for digital videos or for multimedia products so these are the various applications next is cdr cdr is compact disc recordable compact disc recordable means or you can say it is a kind of worm write once read many write once read many type of optical disc memory means this is blank when it is being supplied initially when you are going to purchase it it would be blank you can write data to it just once and once the data is being written to the disk it cannot be changed means written data can be read by the users as many times as required but it cannot be altered user can store the data once only means cdrs are often used for making payment backups of data for distributing softwares and even when a small number of copies are required next is you must write the cdr is also w o r m means write once read many 
नेक्स्ट इज सी डी आर और सी डी राम और इरेजेबल ऑप्टिकल डिस्क कॉम्पैक्ट डिस्क री राइटेबल मीन्स इट इज रीड राइट ऑप्टिकल डिस्क मेमोरी मीन्स दीज डिस्क कैन बी री रिकॉर्डेड और इट कैन बी रीड फ्रॉम एंड रिटर्न टू राइट सो देर आर वेरियस एडवांटेजेस एडवांटेजेस आर लाइक यू कैन से हाई स्टोरेज रिमूवेबल लॉन्ग टाइम रिलायबिलिटी इज गुड बट द ड्रॉबैक इज लॉन्गर एक्सेस टाइम सो दिस सी डी रैम और यू कैन से इरेजेबल ऑप्टिकल डिस्क दे आर अवेलेबल इन वराइटी ऑफ लाइक साइजेस मीन्स इन द साइज ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इंच फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव इंचज एंड दे आर दे हैव द वारियस कैपेसिटीज ऑफ लाइक सिक्स फिफ्टी एम बी वन पॉइंट थ्री जी बी टू पॉइंट सिक्स जी बी फाइव पॉइंट टू जी बी लाइक सो ऑन नेक्स्ट इज डी वी डी रोम डी वी आर डी वी डी रैम सो हेयर अ टर्म कम्स डी वी डी डी वी डी इज वॉट इट स्टैंड फॉर डिजिटल वर्सटाइल डिस्क और अर्लियर इट वॉज ऑल्सो नोन एज डिजिटल वीडियो डिस्क राइट सो डी वी डी स्टोर मच मोर डेटा इन कंपेरिजन टू सी डी रोम इट्स कैपेसिटी इज हाई इट कैन स्टोर फोर पॉइंट सेवन जी बी एट पॉइंट फाइव जी बी ट्वेंटी जी बी ऑल एक्सेट्रा ऑफ डेटा एंड द कैपेसिटी डिपेंड्स टोटली वेदर इट इज अ सिंगल लेयर कैपेसिटी टोटली डिपेंड्स अपॉन दिस कॉन्फिग्रेशन सिंगल लेयर डबल लेयर डबल लेयर सिंगल साइडेड और डबल साइडेड डिस्क ऑल्सो राइट सो दिस इज वॉट द डीवीडी इज नाउ फर्स्ट टर्म इज डीवीडी रोम सो डीवीडी रोम दिस इज नथिंग बट रीड ओनली मेमोरी ओनली डेटा कैन बी रीड फ्रॉम हेयर यूजर कैन नॉट राइट द डेटा सो इट एक्चुअली इफ यू ऑब्जर्व इट स्ट्रक्चर इट कंटेन्स अ पॉली कार्बोनेट प्लास्टिक बेस अप जस्ट फॉर द फाउंडेशन then a very thin opaque layer of reflective material is used and then a transparent film is provided and over to this transparent film a protective layer is being provided then pits and lands are formed means this is how dvd rom can be made second is dvr dvr is recordable dvd means just like w o r m disk right means here user can write data on dvr only once and it can be read as many times as requires and writing the data is done with the help of the is via semiconductor e room and the stored data can be read multiple times right and the next is dvd ram so dvd ram means random access memory it uses a technology which is known as phase change so here phase change technology is used to read the data from the disk or to write the data into the disk so these are the various types of optical disk next is okay one more type of optical disk is there which is the digital optical tape digital optical tape means dvds digital videos or versatile disk you can say these are developed for recording movies store data very densely right where more powerful error correction is being required so that is what the digital optical tape thank you so much for watching this video